game begins in three, two, one. is absolutely safe. I found on the yellow pages, it has to be safe. <laughs> now picture with me, if you will, a mobile home from the movie set of Twister. <laughs> Someone's taken red goat's blood, painted the word skydive on the side of it, put a porta potty on the other side and called it a school. And that's the explicit knowledge, but the tacit knowledge is the stuff that you learn by doing. And that's where mentoring becomes so important. It's that knowledge that people create over the years and years of doing certain jobs. Um, so you were, it's, whether it's a hack or a workaround um, or just a, a new process improvement, that's one of the big things that you can do when you build a mentoring program that really helps uh, your organization to be just that much more successful. When you download that information from your more uh, senior members into your more junior members. They begin to learn the things that they need to know how to do and some of those workaround ways. That's just one of the benefits of mentoring um, in addition to a countless other ones. Front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. Isn't that weird? Some of you are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm in Vegas and I'm amazing. Okay, but one more time, one more time. We're gonna do this one more time, are you ready? Hold it up this time, right across from your nose. This time when you're holding on to it, I want you to repeat after me, okay? I want, to, I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say around, 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 around. Now say stop, 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 stop. Now isn't that freaky? Go ahead and talk to your neighbors, there you already are, go ahead. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's amazing. Energizing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Then we'll, all right, all right. Then we'll chat about some the specific thing. ones you can do in your space. So, tips for running icebreakers. One, the most important one for me is to stop when you're having the most fun. You know, too often as a facilitator, we spend too much time running the activity and we run it right out to the nth degree. You're better to leave it when people are at their most. Um, excited. It's kind of like selling a stock, right? You want to sell it when it's high. You feel best about it when you sell it when it's high or even just as it's getting to the top of its peak, right? That's when you want to step out and move into the next thing. You want to pull that energy and constantly be pulling it up and up and up. Um, when you're running icebreakers or, or energizers, make sure you switch. I'm like, pardon? He goes, are you really going to do this? And I said, well, yeah, but why do you ask? He goes, you're really big. And I go, yeah, that's okay, though. He goes, yeah, 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 but you're going to go really fast, he says. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. And he's roping me up, and he goes, let me give you a piece of advice. I'm like, okay, I'm all about advice at this point. He goes, when you're in the waterfall, he says, keep your legs in the waterfall, because your legs come out the waterfall, you go out the waterfall. Good advice. 